So this is our swale or ditch and bank uh, water harvesting system. We're at the top of the hill of the garden. And the idea is that rainwater and surface water collects in this ditch and then slowly plumes downhill. And that allows us to uh, get away with less watering. And in fact, we really only need to water during those periods of drought that are longer than a month. I think I see Bowie hunting for some mice. There he is. Well, maybe he's not hunting right now, but... And here is our greenhouse. This is based off of uh, a design by a man from the States named Mike Ayler. It's uh, solar heated, passively solar heated. Uh, it will eventually be fully earth sheltered. Right now we've just got the front uh, building up the earth against that with some styrofoam insulation in there. Um, and then on the sides what we're going to do for the winter is leaf bags and, and bags stuffed with uh, old hay. And then we're going to drop uh, some found uh, greenhouse plastic there on the back over top of the leaf bags once they're, once that wall is built. And that should give us a decent amount of insulation, enough to be able to grow kale and green onions, which we already have planted. So the structure is sunk into the ground a few feet. Let's, uh, let's take you inside. So you walk into a sunken floor. And then there's these wooden platforms here. So I'll just step up to that. The idea is that the coldest air will flow into this uh, floor area, leaving it a bit warmer at the growing medium here. So right now we've got some kale and green onions doing pretty well. Uh, these green covers are an experiment to see if the kale will grow better under here. I'm pretty sure that they will. And these boards are the pathway in between. Eventually we'll be growing things like tomatoes, cucumbers, melons, that sort of thing up the back wall. And growing our greens up at the front. And if this tech works out for us, we would likely build uh, a larger unit or just to add on to this one. Um, we'll also use this to grow our starts in the spring for peppers, tomatoes, eggplants, things like that. So that we don't have to use uh, fluorescent lighting. So up at the top there, you can see that little black arm at the center. And what that is, that is an automatic window opener. It's temperature sensitive and it will open and close this thing if it gets too hot or cold and it's fully automated. So we have a couple of those vents going and we can always add more if we feel that we need to if it gets to the late spring and it's a little too warm. The steel wall uh, will of course absorb and radiate a lot of heat. With the insulation on the back side of it, it should uh, be able to hold it quite well. I'm just going to step up give you a little pan of the garden, there's Bowie again and that's our greenhouse